Wind changed. Is it her? No, hide Mila. Okie dokie. Sit tight. So, it was you. Tell us, what fate befell the people you brought here? They were all suspects, so naturally they paid the ultimate price. In other words, your goal was to root out Mila. Of course. How very perceptive of you. I must eliminate all who have learned of the Schism's existence and secrets. Well, duh. That's your mission, after all. <laughs> but I never expected you would hide Mila, and then march right up to me on your own. Did something go awry? Mila has lost her memory. We don't know how to find her no more. So that's what happened. In that case, your usefulness has come to an end. Yes, as you say. You are well aware of our master's wishes. You all know too much. You must be reincarnated. Die and pass along our powers to the next grade four. We know. Exactly. Lord Maxwell's specter is in the shrine. We shall await you. Are we prepared for this? Yes. Time to say bye-bye. You heard our conversation. Muse is right. We know too much about the schism. And that makes us dangerous. We were prepared for this outcome. Yep. All that really matters is the four great spirits exist, not who they are. Got it? Then scram and never come back. We'll be going now. Mila. No, you are not Mila. You are your own person. Forget you ever heard that name. If you ever meet the next four, please, give them our kind regards. Enough already. Let's go get this over with. Well, well. You've certainly changed, haven't you? I just want to live as Maxwell. And that's an excuse to off yourself? 
I know it conflicts with my mission. Then don't! Don't do it! I just don't want to disappoint... I want to be strong. I want to be the Maxwell that he adores. What does Maxwell have to fear? So that's what it was. I've become afraid. Afraid of loss. Unpleasant.
down. What? You followed us? Why? Numb skull? Don't tell me you're trying to stop us from sacrificing ourselves. Wait, Sylph. Her body is different, and her memory's gone. But a certain part of Mila may yet remain. Yes. If that's the case, there is nothing we can do to stop her. You know, even if you never get your memories back, you're still the best. <laughs> this creature isn't Mila. The real Mila would think more logically. She'd never be dumb enough to follow us like this. Sylph. If you are determined to accompany us, then we cannot stop you. Come with us, or turn back. We will respect your decision regardless. Yep. Indeed. <laughs> Whatever.
Unpleasant.
What do we have here? So you lied to me? Or perhaps you changed your minds? Never mind. I am not so cruel as to interrogate you over this matter now. <laughs> but I do have one question for you. Can you really trust these spirits? If you don't know the answer, then allow me to provide it for you. Just as I have a mission, so too did you. At least when you were still Mila. Muse, must you really tell her this? My, my, you willingly participated, and yet now you wish to pretend it never happened? N no one said that. My primary mission was the eradication of Exodus. And as for Mila, she was Lord Maxwell's bait to lure Exodus into the open. He realized that Exodus had designs to take his life. So he made you believe you were Maxwell in the flesh. And right on cue, Exodus threw all of its resources into killing you. Do you see where I'm going with this? That's enough already. Your mission, the one you felt so obligated to fulfill as Maxwell, it was a lie. A fabrication to be more accurate. You were never Maxwell. And furthermore, the four great spirits here were under Lord Maxwell's orders. They raised you, a human girl forged in the crucible of the elements, as Maxwell. They brainwashed you into accepting your mission. Mila. You were abandoned by Maxwell from the very start, and your trusted four have been using you from the beginning. She speaks the truth. All of us have been lying to you. That is why we plucked your soul free, just as it was undergoing purification. We betrayed our very master, Lord Maxwell himself, for you. Though I suppose that gesture rings hollow now. Indeed it does. But Muse, Mila wished for us to live on. She kind of grew on us, you know? Betraying her again just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. We refuse your offer of reincarnation. We are staying right here. What? I have a mission. Without it, my life has no meaning. I must complete it. I cannot allow you to live. Oh! <laughs> 
That was very close. Am I stronger? <clears throat> Why? Why do you disobey your master? Cause I want Mila back with us. She cared about me, so I care about her. Simple. We do not know if Mila will regain her memory. Most likely she never will. But even so, to us, she is still Mila. It is not the past we spent together that truly matters. We have realized that much. In other words, the most important thing to you is not the past, but rather... Stop right there. Sheesh. You were about to say the oldest cliché in the book. We don't want to die just because we know too much. Then why didn't you run? Funny thing, we were fine with dying if it was for her. We shall decide what we do from now on. We shall follow our own hearts when choosing whether to obey or disobey our master's orders. You think so too, right? But memories are gone forever when they're erased. She will never be Mila again. Tell me I speak the truth. <sighs> Behold, the specter of Lord Maxwell, hegemon of the spirit world. Do not be afraid. The specter is nothing more than concentrated consciousness. Its sole purpose is to purify the souls of the dead. The answer to your question is negative. This ball of light contains a soul's former information. It is a miraculous art, able to restore memory and personality. What? Lord Maxwell! Why was I never informed of this? This isn't good. Lord Maxwell's gonna sense that we're here. Huh? He's not answering. Why? Why have you stopped responding? How long must I wait until you answer me? I do not know why, but it appears her communication with Maxwell has been cut off. No! Why is this happening? Hey, wait! Calm yourself, Sylph. We have more pressing concerns. In the end, we did what we came to do. We have found a way to restore Mila's memory. Carry this light to the summit of the Neakera Hollowmount. Let's go to the summit of the Neakera Hollowmount. If we use the light we acquired, your memories should return.
Unpleasant. Pleasant. This is it. We use the light here at the summit. <laughs> My powers are being summoned. The signal is off the charts. It's Lord Maxwell. But who could he be fighting? Mila should be fine now. We can leave. All right, here we go.
Your heart won't stop pounding, will it? Now do you see? Ridiculous! Look at yourself, fool. You can barely even stand up. Do you really think you have the strength to resist me? Remember why I chose to die. Yes, I do. I know that I do. What did you say? This is impossible. You must, you must die! Who? Just who are you? Isn't that right? Dreaming. Mila! Is this truly happening? Mila? No way! Is it not Maxwell's mission to protect the future for all of us, both human and spirit? But how can this be? Was this the Force doing? Uncertain? Uncertainty makes you weak, you know. sure about this? How? Oh, how dare you? Okay, Jude. Let's go! Right! Here we go! Everyone, there is nothing to fear, even the great Maxwell. How? How can this be? Nothing is impossible with Mila. You were the only one who didn't see that, Maxwell. Well, 
out to me and said, Mila. It's... it's really you. I need more strength. There's always room for improvement. All right! I can't stop! I want to get stronger! You can totally do it! Just keeps getting better. Not yet. I still need to get better. Hey. Hi there. Hey! Mila! <laughs> Elise. Leia. She's back! For real, for real, you real! I feel blessed to have lived long enough for this reunion. To think that we would meet again. This feels like a dream. But it's real, isn't it? I'm glad to see you too. Welcome back, Mila. Thank you. Hey! Stay away from us! Or am I gonna have to finish you off myself? I do not understand the Four. Tell me, what is the meaning of this? I could no longer stand idly by and allow you to continue with this folly. Right. Exactly. So we decided to help Mila out and bring her to the spirit realm. How dare you? I gave no such order. Lord Maxwell, all people have hearts and minds, just the same as we do. You can't just treat them like tools, even if it does help save the world in the end. Maxwell. You may have been the one to give me my mission. Nevertheless, it was still my own mission. 
You exerted your own will. And that was a decision that came straight from your own heart. Yes. The world you created seems to serve no purpose other than to exist. But what kind of life is that for its people? I... We all just want to live. I suppose this is why I could not understand your actions. Human hearts truly are complicated things. Perhaps my ignoring that fact is what ultimately led me astray. I shall dispel the schism. Are you serious? Maintaining the schism requires a tremendous amount of mana. Dispelling it will disperse this energy into the world. That should protect the world's spirits. At least for a time, anyway. It will grant us a reprieve of a few years. Possibly even a few decades, at best. Thank you, Maxwell. We'll figure out a solution. Both Riza Maxia and Olympias will live on together. We'll find a way. You have my word. So, Maxwell, you would step down from your rightful place as this world's god? Gaius? Answer me, Maxwell. I have grown weary of constantly being at the mercy of human hearts. Maxwell. If you wish to abdicate your throne as Riza Maxia's god, then I shall sit upon it in your stead. A mere human to replace me as my equal? How absurd! You are not worthy at all! It is not a question of being worthy. It is a question of actually being willing and able. If you cannot fulfill your obligations, then I certainly will. Not so fast. I'm afraid that's not gonna work for me, either. It matters not. I don't need your approval. Such power. It can't be. The Lance of Kresnik? What choice did I have? After all... You refused to tell me what I should do, now didn't you? Muse, have you lost your mind? I cannot allow you to destroy the schism! Maxwell, you shall serve as the cornerstone of your own world! What's going on? <laughs> 
man is not worthy of the name Maxwell. We shall see. Everyone, brace yourselves. 